Something a lot of developers don't realize is that software systems are built in layers, and at each layer, abstractions help us manage complexity by hiding unnecessary details. At the lowest level, we have the hardware, the physical raw materials of computing. These are components like CPU, memory, and storage that actually execute instructions. The processor can only understand electrical signals that represent ones and zeros. On top of the hardware sits machine code and assembly language. These low-level languages communicate directly with the hardware, providing our first level of abstraction. Instead of manipulating electrical signals, assembly lets you write instructions like move this value to that memory location or add these two numbers. It's still incredibly detailed work, but it's human readable. Above assembly and machine, you have system languages like C, C++, and Rust. These languages give developers more control while abstracting away some of the raw complexities of hardware interactions. You still have direct access to memory management and can optimize for performance, but you're not dealing with individual processor instructions. Most software developers like you and I work at an even higher level using languages like Python, JavaScript, or Java. These languages are designed to be extremely human readable and abstract away concerns like memory management, garbage collection, and direct hardware access. In Python, you can create a web server in just a few lines of code. The language handles all the underlying complexities of network protocols, I.O., memory allocations, and system resources. Even within high-level languages, developers often use frameworks and libraries that add additional layer of abstractions. For example, NumPy abstracts mathematical operations, so data scientists don't need to implement matrix multiplication from scratch. React simplifies web development by managing how user interfaces update when data changes. Flutter and React Native let you write one code base that runs on both iOS and Android, abstracting away the differences between the mobile platforms. In many modern companies, the infrastructure itself is abstracted away. Developers might deploy code using internal platforms or cloud services without directly accessing the underlying servers, database, or networking equipment. These platforms handle provisioning, scaling, and reliability automatically. You can launch a global application without ever touching a physical server or configuring a network router. These layers of abstractions are intentional, not accidental. They allow individual teams to focus on specific problems without needing deep knowledge of every underlying system. A mobile app developer can create engaging user experiences without understanding how touchscreens convert physical gestures into digital signals. A data scientist can build machine learning models without implementing neural network algorithms from scratch. Without these abstractions, software development would be significantly more difficult, time-consuming, and error-prone. However, understanding these abstractions and knowing where they begin and end is important to becoming a more effective software engineer. You don't need to be an expert at every layer, but knowing what each layer provides helps you choose the right tools, debug problems more effectively, and communicate better with teammates who work at different levels of the stack. Follow Umacos for more programming videos like this.